The cardiothoracic surgery specialty has been in existence for more than 100 years. Extraordinary women have been a part of it since the mid-1950s. Dr. Nina Bronwald, a true trailblazer, was one of the first female cardiac surgeons. A recognized pioneer in the field of heart surgery, Dr. Bronwald performed the first successful prosthetic mitral valve replacement in a human in 1960 using a valve she also designed. She was only 32 years old. Dr. Bronwald, together with Drs. Anne McKeel and Nerman Tutunju, became the first women to be certified by the American Board of Thoracic Surgery in 1961. While more women entered the specialty in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, their numbers remained small. When I was a resident, I was the first resident woman to train at UC Davis. I was the first woman resident to uh, train in general surgery at Travis Air Force Base. So up until the year 2000, there weren't many. I and mean, really, literally, three quarters of the women ever to achieve board certification by ABTS have been since the year 2000. I think the future of thoracic surgery as a career for women is, is very bright. If you have the drive to be crazy enough to be a cardiothoracic surgeon, um, then you can. And, and the, there's much less limitation to it than there used to be. In the mid-1980s, Dr. Leslie Komen, a thoracic surgeon, identified the need to bring women together to share their experiences and provide community for each other within the specialty. Dr. Komen convened an informal breakfast meeting for all the women attending the 24th annual STS meeting. Eight women attended the breakfast. These informal breakfasts led to the creation of Women in Thoracic Surgery. In 1986, Leslie Komen was the first president of the WTS. Dr. Carolyn Reed was another early extraordinary woman in the specialty. Board certified in 1986, Dr. Reed went on to become the first woman chair of the ABTS, president of the STSA, treasurer of WTS, and an officer of STS. She was elected to be the first woman president of STS in 2013, an honor that sadly was not realized due to her death in 2012. Dr. Reed was an outstanding teacher, researcher, and leader. Carolyn and I uh, finished at about the same time, I think took the boards at the same time, uh, and became certified at the same time. You don't rise unless you're smart, accomplished, clinically adept. She was all those things. Every step of the way, she worked to further the cause of women in surgery. She was a, a mentor and a teacher to an entire generation of female thoracic surgeons who looked up to her as, uh, as a, a prime example of what they wanted to become. From 1991 until today, there has been a steady growth in the number of women in CT surgery. Today, 33% of CT surgical residents in training programs are women, reflecting the changing landscape for women CT surgeons. We see truly extraordinary women leading and inspiring us with their expert patient care, research, innovation, and mentorship of future women surgeons. Work-life balance is no longer a topic of quiet conversations behind closed doors, but an increasingly accepted and important topic of discussion. While progress has been made, challenges remain. Pay equity, workplace culture, and burnout are just a few of the issues that represent ongoing barriers to women's advancement in the specialty. But today, we gather to pay tribute to the trailblazers who broke barriers and pave the way for future generations of women in the specialty. We congratulate three extraordinary women of CT surgery who will be honored here today. May they be an inspiration to us all. Mm -hmm.